Once upon a time, high atop the Granolian Alps, there were two small villages. One was populated by the gnomes, who made clocks and watches. In the other village lived the elves, who also made clocks and watches. As our story opens, an elf named E.J. has just returned from the big city and is talking to the mayor, Hans Elf. I tell you, mayor, if we continue to make only clocks and watches, we won't have enough work to keep us busy. But all we've ever made is clocks and watches. What else can we do? When I was in the big city, I had an idea. I heard that Major Motors, the car company, was looking for a new mileage counter to keep track of how many miles a car has gone. I spoke to M.G. Clutch, the president of Major Motors, and guess what? What? He's coming here today to talk about it. <coughs> Welcome to our village, Mr. Clutch. This is Hans Elf, our mayor. Mm, yes, mm, yes, yes, enough small talk. Show you what I need. Would like to know how many miles car has gone in all. I have this little wheel that goes around once every time car goes one mile. But I don't only want to know when I have gone one mile. I want to know how far I have driven in all. Can you help me? Well, we can try. Come by my office one week from today. See you this time next week. Mm. Goodbye. Well, he certainly doesn't waste any time. Well, Hans, think we can do it? We can only try. And meanwhile, in the Gnome Village, the mayor was also having a meeting with a certain Metro Gnome. Mayor, we're in big trouble. If we don't start making other things besides clocks and watches, we won't have enough work to keep us busy. At this very moment, the elves are talking to M.G. Clutch about a new mileage counter for the major motors cars. But what can we do? Well, I've got a little creature that may be able to help us. What's that? An animal from another land. It's called the mumbler. So cute, it can get close to the most private conversations without being suspected. Yet, give it a cracker and it mumbles whatever it has just heard. And it mumbles whatever it has just heard. A spy, eh? Well, I guess we have no choice. Well, I guess we have no choice. Right. I'll send the mumbler to visit the elves. When I blow this high-pitched whistle, the mumbler will return here and tell all it has heard. And meanwhile... Well, that's a beginning. Now we can fix this counter so that when the car is driven one mile, this counter turns just enough to show a new number. One more than the previous number. Why, look. What a cute little fellow. Oh, yes, isn't he? <laughs> well, back to work. So, this wheel counts the miles as the car is driven. But what happens after driving nine miles? What's one more than nine? Uh, ten. Uh, well, I, I suppose we could squeeze ten onto the wheel. But surely M.G. Clutch will want to count many more than ten miles. Hmm. I've got it. Let's make a second wheel. So the numeral one on this wheel would be worth one more than nine. Of course, that's ten. Then, uh, when this first wheel goes back to zero, the second wheel turns showing one. That's ten. By George, we're on the right track. Then, the second wheel would stop turning while the first wheel continued, showing eleven, twelve, and so on until nineteen. I see. One more than ten and nine is ten and ten, or two tens, which is what the counter shows. I wonder where that funny little animal's going so fast. But surely M.G. Clutch will want to count more than ten miles. I've got it. 
Let's make a second wheel. Sounds like they are working on a counter of some sort. I was right. It probably is a counter for Major Motors. Oh, what are we going to do? Well, we know the Major Motors car has a counter that goes around once every time the car is driven one mile, but can only count up to one. MG wants to have a counter that shows the total number of miles the car has been driven. Now, the elves have the counter fixed so that this wheel, which has the numbers 0 to 9 on it, takes care of counting up to 9. But that isn't enough. So they have used a second wheel, where each position is worth 1 more than 9, namely 10. So, this wheel counts miles. When it gets to 9, driving one more mile makes both wheels turn. The first wheel goes to 0 and the second wheel turns to 1. Very clever. That leads 10. Let's see how many miles the elves can count with these two wheels. Starting from 10, the wheel can go through 11, 12, 13, all the way up to 19, and then 20. Right. And in the same way, they can count up to 30, 40, 50, all the way to 90, and then to 99. But what then? After 99, the next turn of the wheels would make the counter read zero. Uh, M.G. Clutch will certainly want a counter that will count more than 99 miles. Ah, let's send the mumbler to find out if the elves have figured out the problem. But we can only count to 99 miles. I'm sure that M.G. will want to drive more miles than that. True, true. Say, there's that cute little animal again. It looks hungry. I'll give it a cracker. Let's send the mumbler over to see if the elves have figured out the problem. That animal is a spy for the gnomes. It seems to repeat what it's heard if you give it a cracker. I've heard of such an animal. It's called a mumbler. It's called a mumbler. Well, at least we know that the gnomes know what's up. Wait, I see it. I know how we can count beyond 99 on the counter. We make another wheel where each turn is worth one more than 99. We can call these hundreds. Stop! You forgot about the mumbler. Now the gnomes will know about your idea. Still, there may be a way to win. After all, they don't know that we know about the mumbler. We'll make another wheel where each turn is worth one more than 99. We can call these hundreds. They've thought of a way to solve the problem. How's that? What they've done is to use another wheel. So now they can count up to 999. Well, why stop there? There could be yet another wheel, where each turn was worth one more than 999. We could then count thousands of miles. All right, and then another and another. But how many wheels should we have in all? Those cars don't run forever. Look. Those elves are bound to think of this last idea. Let's send the mumbler out to find out how many wheels they're planning on building. Then we'll build one more. We'll get that major motors contract or my name isn't Metro Gnome. And so for the next week, the elves and the gnomes were hard at work. Building the new invention. Well, LPJ, all we have to decide now is how many wheels to use. Right. One wheel can count up to nine, two wheels to 99, three wheels to 999, and four wheels to 9,999. Well, I think four wheels will be enough. Well, 
That should trick them. I think four wheels will be enough. Hear that? The elves are going to use just four wheels. So they'll only be able to count up to 9,999. We'll use five wheels. So we'll be able to count up to 99,999. Uh, finally, the big day arrived. Right, right, yeah, fine, right, mm, fine, yeah. Yeah, come in. A Mr. E.J. Elf and a Mr. Hans Elf to see you. Right, come on, come on, busy man. Right, uh, here we are, Mr. Clutch, just as we promised. Mm, right, busy man, see what you've got. Well, Mr. Clutch, it works like this. As the car is moving, the first wheel on the counter turns over until it reaches. Mm, very good, very good. Then you'll buy it? A Mr. Metronome and a Mr. Gnome Lasker to see you, Mr. Clutch. Hello, Mr. Clutch. I see these elves have been showing you a counter. We have a similar thing to offer. So now, well, what's the difference? Well, you notice that their counter only goes up to 9,999. That will make your customers think that you don't expect your cars to last longer than the time it takes you to drive 9,999 miles. Hmm, that's true. Now, our counter goes up to 99,999 miles. Isn't that better? Hmm, seems to be. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Clutch. Do you like these counters? Very much. Mm. And we all agree that the counter with the most places should be chosen. Yes. Then we win. Our counter really has six places. <coughs> oh. That mumbler must have double-crossed us, why I'll... Wait a minute, no fighting. You both have the same idea. Buy it from you both. You work out the details, pay any price uh, that's reasonable. Uh, do you think uh, we could uh, work together? Well, I guess we should have all along. With the mumbler carrying messages back and forth, we could have created these counters together a lot easier and faster. That's right. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Mm -hmm.